Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Rule the Waves. Last episode, we uh, ended the war against the Italians on a very good note. Apparently, our submarines were enough to push them into some some sort of collapse. I mean, the government didn't collapse, but people were pissed. So they ended the war, and we ended up getting a new. Oop, that's a bit much. We ended up getting a new uh, province? Territory? Yeah, territory. Uh, so, I think what I want to do, since we already have uh, Malta? Yeah, Malta. Since we already have several guns on Malta, I think what I want to do is build two, three uh, 14 inch coastal batteries in turrets and place them in Sardinia. I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt the budget for a little bit, but in a while, uh, we will be finished building our brand new Panther class. Wait, is it Panther? I think it's Panther. Yeah, Panther class destroyers, and that'll free up a few million. But right now, it's only going to cost us 3.3 and 10 months. Also, I think I want to put another 14 inch coastal battery in turrets on Malta since, you know, they are one of the closest territories we have. Actually, Considering its size, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Big old anchor in the way, though. I can't really see what all is there. Uh, and several six-inch coastal battery turrets. Or coastal batteries. I will put six of those, because this island is a lot larger than Malta. So, they'll probably end up being spread around. Let me go for eight. Yeah, I'll go for eight. Put them on Sardinia. Okay. So, we... <laughs> okay, so we'll get about... One, two, about three million back per month in no more than five months, cons uh, provided that there are no construction delays. Okay, let's let's keep going. And machinery development, cat's whisker of comprehending non-flammable materials. N nothing else. New government wants to reduce naval spending in favor of social programs. I'll try to get the proposal watered down. Alright, we're at 10.3 per month. And we lost about 1.1 million per month. Yay! And apparently Great Britain has advanced director now. Ah, somewhat overweight. So, there's a couple right there. Yeah, that's fine, America. And we now have uh, more damage control. Non-flammable materials. Like asbestos. Good old healthy asbestos. And dock size keeps increasing. Another two destroyers. Yes, we will buy the double reduction gears. We now have advanced director. Which means... And open the 
For your Froy class, for rebuild. Advanced Director. When did we gain so much weight? And yeah, why not do do the uh, better guns? Do we have better 5-inch guns? No, we don't. Oh my god, that is a stupidly expensive rebuild. Jeez. Fine. No, I do not. So I guess we just need to input new designs. I do hope these uh, Lisa class will... You know what? No. Great Britain has advanced director. And since you are a battle cruiser, we're going to add a couple of... Uh, what is it? H and I? I totally could do that, but I don't have enough weight. I can if I replace the machinery, though. Those torpedoes may make all the difference for the battle cruisers. Yeah. Yes, I am very interested in doing that. And I will not rebuild these yet either. Not until I get some fundage appropriated. And, wow, this old thing. Here it is, 1929, and we've still got a Legacy Fleet battleship. <laughs> and we still don't have quality 1 11-inch guns. I need to do something to make these as good as I possibly can. Okay. Ah, uh, the Ziggit Far. Can I do that? Director for secondary guns not allowed on ships smaller than an armored cruiser. Well, okay. All right, improved six inch guns with increased elevation. So now we get the, the extra range. I think I will clear the torpedo mounts and add two quad uh, launchers. Swivel mounts. Oh, that's ugly. But I think I don't really have much choice. Maybe JK? Or did I just do JK? Yeah, I did just do JK. Lol, JK. Okay, so those are my only options. I guess I'll put them up front underneath some turrets. Oh, 16, man. Okay. I'll just do that. Can I aff... No, I really can't afford that. 
Not yet, at least. Not for a few more months until I can get all of my other constructions done. And we're gonna get this done right. Can we do the quad mounts with a... Yes, we... Oh. Wow! This thing only had central firing? Okay. That will have to do. Well, the Sigatvar 2 class only had central firing. All right, <laughs> what else is, okay, the, oh yeah, these three zeros. Um, okay. I think this one's just going to get the, uh, the good old fresh coat of paint. Oh, yeah, and improved director. Wow, we barely make it with the machinery replacement. Ten months. Of, oh, yeah, because for replacing the machinery. Gotcha. All right, what else? I think we're okay for now. Yeah. Yeah, everything else is still okay, and we've got one more turn. But we're going to have a lot of coastal fortifications done this turn as well. And another dock size increase. And there's a new Italian dreadnought f boasting 15-inch guns. Oh, yeah, of course, the Roma class. And I have one more month. And then I'm going to have to start pausing things. The new cruiser from France has just arrived on a goodwill visit, and the press is only too eager to report on all of its advanced features. One reporter approaches you for a comment. What do you say? Um, it is certainly a nice ship, but ours are just as good. Because, I mean, wait, we'll raise some tensions with France. And we now have improved oil burners. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me pause this Foyer Freud 2. Wait. It was halted. Holy shit. Okay, halt this one. Still not enough. Uh, okay, three more months, and then I can resume some things. Okay. Oh yeah, and that, that doesn't remind me, but I reminded myself that it is time to design our endgame... Dreadnought. Because we do have the Quality Zero 16-inch guns. 
Hmm. Why are you giving me 14-inch guns? Don't do that. It's a bad computer. Bad. But I do not want four triple turrets. I want three quad turrets. And also... We're going to have uh, 24 6-inch Quality 1 guns in triple turrets. And since this is a Dreadnought, we're not going to concern ourselves with torpedoes. Although... Torpedo Defense 4. Although... Yeah. Yeah, that will definitely help a little bit. It's 110 rounds of 16-inch ammunition. Good enough. Whoa, hello, short range. Three fire control positions. Okay. Woo, getting up there in the tonnage. Oop, 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 too much. Wait, 38,000? That's it? Oh. Oh, this, this is not... Holy shit, no. Uh, deck is good. Conning tower... 15 inches. Turrets, much more than that. 16 and a half with a 5 inch top. Holy, sh 7 inch armor on secondaries? 5 inches. And keep going up in the weight again. 46,000. 45,8. Twenty-two knots is what I want, uh, because that's the fastest that my fastest dreadnought gets. But yeah, we've got twelve sixteen-inch guns, and yeah, it this this looks like a very good end-game design. Although, Can I push this up to 52,000? No, I'm, I'm going to guess no. We are still 21. Damn. All right. Decrease that. Decrease that. Still 102 tons. Damn. I'm not going to give up that three and a half inch deck. All right, so we've got six guns in the back, eight up front. This seems pretty okay. I mean, we have two more facing the rear. Two more turret... Uh, barrels. Barrels facing the rear. But holy crap, this is going to be an expensive monstrosity. Wait. How did we gain weight savings going down 100 tons? I, I don't get it. Why why did that happen? I 
51-5, huh? Hmm, 14 16 inch guns. That's almost a f that's almost Feuer Freu capabilities. Although these are 16 inch guns. <sighs> I feel like I'm missing something, but it all looks okay. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, man. Didn't I des... Didn't I design one? Temp. 52,000 ton. Okay. Let me take a look at this temp. What did I do? What the hell did I do? Oh. Okay. Looks like I went down on the, uh, the secondaries a bit. about the same cost and we have more guns we we've got 16 16 inch guns holy shit that firepower and of course some charged torpedoes and I never did I never did figure out a a German name for this So, you know what? This is my end game design. So, uh, yes, I'm doing this on camera. You guys can kiss my ass. So, this is going to be the name of our endgame Dreadnought design. And for any of you that don't know, this goes to a good friend of mine, Tortuga Power. If you haven't uh, visited his YouTube channel, you really need to do so. Because, well, I mean, really, this thing is a fucking turtle. Look at this. Look at this armor. Oh. Wait. Wait. No. Can I get up to 13 and a half inch? And then... Let's see, delete that one. Add the aft center line superimposed. When did these become square? I don't remember them being square. Can I come down to four and a half on the turret tops? I can, but it won't give me enough weight savings. Oh, and 21 knots, too. Man. All right. Whoa. 
Okay. Increase the aft. And decrease the aft centerline superimposed. And we still have 500 tons. So, for 18... Okay. I can almost do that. I am 13... Oh, I know exactly how. Bink, got it. Okay. All right. This I can live with. 15 16 inch guns. Director firing, 6 inch quality 1, 3 guns per turret. I've got 2 quad swivel mount. Shield Krotenmacht. Schildkrotenmacht. I'm probably butchering that, but that's what I'm going to call it. It's German for turtle power. But yeah, um, as usual, um, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the video description. So by all means, check out his channel if you haven't done so. Okay, this, this, this is what we're going to go with. You know what? I bet it was a little bit of the machinery and armor weight savings that allow us to get this. I like it. This one is no... Co okay, a little bit of compromise. A little bit of compromise, but considering the cutoff is 52,000 tons, um, I kind of... I really can't avoid it. I don't know why the cutoff is 52,000 tons. I mean, it would be nice to have, you know, a 70,000 ton dreadnought sporting, you know, 16, 18 inch guns. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. Obviously. But yeah, we're going to go with this. And no, we're, we're not going to build that yet. Because we really can't. Alright. Oh yeah. Over here. Alright. So we've got that. Uh, the French government is interested in buying the rights to extended double bottom, by all means. Maybe you can get your navy up to acceptable standards by the time we go to war with Great Britain. I mean, we kicked their ass twice. I don't see why we can't do it a third time. Whoa, that raised tensions a lot more than I thought it would. And now we have 14-inch coastal batteries in turrets. The Imperator Alexander III. 15-inch guns. 36,600 tons, 25 knots, improved director, 15 inch turrets, 12 and a half inch belt. See, these other end game designs, they're not going to cut it. And more machinery development. Wow, that freed up a significant amount of money. All right, we're going to finish these two, and then we can finally uh, get our Foyer Froy 2 finished, even though it's still a year and a half away. More, more dock size increase. There's been a rebellion in the French possession of Djibouti. Um, you know what? We'll help France root out the rebels. Finally! Jeez. All right. 
It's only nine. It's only the end of 1929, and we just now get double gun mounts on light cruisers. Medium range. Normal accommodation. I'm going to go with torpedo defensive two. And add a forward superimposed a double turret. So now we have eight six inch quality one guns per broadside. Can I get that done with 8,000 tons? Oh, that's right. I can't do that. How about double gun turrets? There we go. Well, first, let's try and get... Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! And we're going to increase the tubes on all of these. That should offer a very, very decent... Um, All right. Torpedo defense 2, normal accommodation, oil, normal engine priority, medium range, 7,300 to 30 knots. Wow. You are a quick little bugger, aren't you? Eight torpedoes per side. Eight six-inch guns per side. Six five-inch guns per side. Uh-oh. Still not good enough. Um, I think I will have... Oh, wow. Yeah, I can totally do that. All right. Two and a half. No, let's make it three. Okay, 28 knots should be just fine. And let's get this turret armor up some to actually have enclosed mounts instead of just gun shields. Can I get this? No. Nope. Okay, secondaries will have to be gun shields. Okay, what am I missing here? When did I get all this weight suddenly? It wasn't like this a minute ago. What did I do? Hmm. I don't want to drop the weight or the speed anymore. That's too much. Although these should only be supplemental forces. You know what? Torpedo defensive one is going to be just fine. All right, 7,800 ton uh, cruiser. Yeah, this will do. Zenta. Uh, 
I just wish I could have gone with something other than Torpedo Defensive 1. I mean, yeah, I totally could, but then I wouldn't be able to have the gunboat that I want. I'm I'm a huge fan of the gunboat design. Gunship. Yeah, gunship. Sounds better. All right, yeah, this will do. Nope. All right, breeze through the turns. We're already at 35 and a half minutes. And eh. 10 inch guns of quality one. Uh, sure. And we now have Well, I can go ahead and increase my last uh, legacy. Keep that, get that. I can't really remember what I did the first time. Oh, wait. Let me just do this. Rebuild 1919. Rebuild 1929. There we go. And that's all we need to do. D does bulging not do anything to the weight? Okay. I'll take that that speed decrease so that I can get a little bit of torpedo defense. Okay, yeah. And the 1930? Nope, nope. All right. Turn advancement. Buying the rights to stable explosive filler. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm due to hold a speech. What? I don't care about Italy anymore. I mean, yeah, I'm super salty about them destroying all but one Dreadnought, but I still don't really know. Uh, yeah, that's fine. oxygen fuel torpedoes are coming soon. <laughs> Although... I will go ahead and rebuild some of these guys. Oh, wait. Let me start with the... Rebuild ship. The 1929 design. Yep. And rebuild these guys. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Well, no, I might as well rebuild the Ziggetvar too. Damn. <laughs> it's a good thing none of these are anywhere close to a year. And I can also build a few more subs gonna do that all right all right so we are at 39 and a half minutes I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here and since I'm doing a bunch of batch recordings today I'm going to go ahead and start it right back up uh, so thank you for watching this episode feel free to leave a comment feedback is always appreciated 
Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.